Chapter 8, Section 3, Chi-Square Test In this video, I will explain what is Chi-Square Test and how to implement it in detail. Let me start with the explanation of goodness of fit test. The goodness of fit test is a method for testing whether the observed frequency from sample data fits the population distribution. That is, it tests whether the sample data represent the population. It is often used in a sampling survey to confirm that the collected sample data properly represent the population. The most common method of the goodness of fit test is chi-square test. Let's consider an example. Suppose you collect a sample data of companies from three economic sectors, the primary sector, the secondary sector, and the tertiary sector. The table shows the percentage of companies belonging to each category. And suppose you want the sample to represent the economic sector distribution in this area. We know the population distribution, that is, the sector distribution in this area. In this case, can we say that the sample is representative in terms of the economic sector distribution? In the goodness of fit test, we examine the deviance of the sample from the population. As the first step, we specify the null hypothesis as economic sector distribution are the same between the sample and the population. The alternative hypothesis is that economic sector distribution are not the same between the sample and the population. As the second step, we set the significance level to 0.05. The test statistic used in the goodness of fit test is chi-squared. Here, we use chi-squared, so we need to compute chi-squared. The formula of chi-squared contains expected value, which is a weighted average of an experiment. Here, expected value is a proportion of each sector in the population. To calculate the chi-squared, first, compute the difference between the expected value and observed value, and divide it by the expected value. Then, aggregate them. It is the chi-squared, 3.457. Next, we use a chi-squared distribution table to determine whether we can reject the null hypothesis or not. Here, we have three classes, so the degree of freedom is 2. The goodness of fit test should be implemented as a one-tailed test. The intersection shows 5.991, which is larger than the chi-squared we got. So, we cannot reject a null hypothesis. Another type of hypothesis testing where we use chi-squared as a test statistic is a test of independence. In a test of independence, we test whether two groups are independent or not. In a goodness of fit test, we test whether the distribution differ between the sample and the population. That is, we test whether the sample is a representative subset of the population. On the other hand, a test of independence is used when we have two or more groups of categories, and we want to test whether those groups are independent or not. Remember the definition of a statistical independence. When event A and event B are statistically independent, A's occurrence does not affect B's probability of occurring. Let's consider an example. Suppose there are two groups, East Area and West Area. They are categories of areas in a city. The cross tab shows the number of companies belonging to each economic sector by areas in a city. 
when area affects the distribution of economic sector, area and economic sector are statistically dependent. In that case, the economic sector distribution will differ between the east area and the west area. On the other hand, when the area and economic sector are statistically independent, the economic sector distribution will not differ between the two areas. So, in a test of independence, we test whether the focal distributions differ between multiple groups. As the first step, we specify the null and the alternative hypothesis. Here, the null hypothesis is that the areas and the economic sector distributions are statistically independent. It means that the economic sector distributions are the same between areas. The alternative hypothesis is that the areas and the economic sector distributions are statistically dependent. It means that the area affects the economic sector distribution, so the distributions are different between areas. As the second step, we set the significance level to 0.05. We use a chi-square as the test statistic. Let's see how to compute chi-square in this case. First, create a table that shows the distribution of each group by frequency. Each cell records observed values. To compute chi-square, we need to know the expected value of each cell. We should compute the expected value on the assumption that the null hypothesis is true. That is, we should assume that the distributions are the same between areas. So, as the expected value, we should compute the weighted average for each column, assuming that the total number of observations is 100. Then, compute observation values in case the total observation is 100, so that the unit aligns with expected values. Next, quantify the deviance for each cell. To do it, calculate the squared difference between the observed value and the expected value. Then, divide the square difference by the expected value. Do it for each cell. This is the operation expressed at the fraction in the formula of chi-squared. Next, aggregate the squared differences for each area. Let's express them as sigma east and sigma west, respectively. Then, multiply the sum of the east area with 2, because the true sample size is 200, not 100. Similarly, multiply the sum of the west area with 3. Then, add up the east and west. The value will be 0.582. It is the chi-squared. As the final step, determine whether we can reject a null hypothesis or not. To do it, we use the chi-squared distribution table. Here, the degree of freedom is determined by the product of the number of rows and the columns of the crosstab. So, when we use a m by n crosstab for a testing, the degree of freedom is m minus 1 by, by n minus 1. Here, we use 2 by 3 crosstab. So, the degree of freedom is 2 minus 1 by 3 minus 1. So, it is 1 by 2. So, it is 2. The significance level is 0 0.05. So, the intersection shows 5.991, which is larger than the chi-squared we got in the third step. So, we cannot reject a null hypothesis. So, we can conclude that the area and the economic sector are independent. Let me summarize the points of this chapter. 
We can test hypothesis by a one-tailed test or a two-tailed test. In most cases, we cannot say that one is larger than another. So, a two-tailed test is more commonly used. T-test is used to examine the difference between the sample mean and the population mean, or the difference between sample means. T-test can be used when we do not know the population variance. So, T-test is commonly used in hypothesis testing. Chi-square test is used for the goodness of fit test, where we examine whether the sample is representative of the population. Chi-square test is also used to test statistical independence between two groups. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.